Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> oh my goodness, this video has taken a long time to set up and finally film it. I did try this once, oh, I did try this the other day and it just didn't work. At the moment, I currently have no lights because for some reason, 2022 is the year that my lights that I've had for years, um, all the bulbs broke. <laughs> I don't know what kind of subliminal message that is but anyhow hello welcome back to my channel and finally it's actually a current video like this is real time and yes I've had a hair change <laughs> If you are returning back to my channel, thank you so much for coming back um, to these little videos of bits and bobs. Um, and today, it's a little bit less on the makeup sidey, um, but more on the clothes side. I wanted to do a little haul because um, recently I've picked up a few gems from one particular shop, and that being George at Asda. Um, so yes, cheap and cheerful. Um, I know in the fast fashion kind of thing, maybe not the best in the world, um, but still, like, I don't like to wear things once or twice and then get rid of them, um, I like to invest in my pieces, but we all still love a bargain, and it has been a bargain time, and um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you what I've got recently, this is lots of little shops, not one big shop, um, so yeah, all kind of collected together over, like, autumn and winter, so yeah, um, let me show you what I've got. Okay, first of all, I thought it would be fitting to start with jumpers, and I won't die, I got quite a few Christmas jumpers. <laughs> I am a very, very big fan of Christmas, and I do love myself a little bit of a garish Christmas jumper. I just think even if they're garish, they look pretty. <laughs> it's Christmas, you can't go wrong with a Christmas jumper. And theme of the moment right now, <clears throat> keeping warm, cosy, and toasty. And so, not a bad investment, I say, in my books. So the first one is this very bright. <laughs> this is kind of like a red patchwork jumper. Now I feel like it's not too too Christmassy. Yes it has Christmas trees and we have some candy canes. You could say it's quite garish um, but it's not the most like super Christmas Christmas vomited on your jumper. <laughs> I just think it's really cute with the patchwork. I think it'll go so nice with little collars. So yeah, not too, too Christmassy, um, but one still a little bit festive that can kind of be played up and played down. Very sweet. So there we go. A nice kind of not too extravagantly Christmassy. Um, a little bit cottagecore, but I feel like that's still a thing. I really like that style. I very much like it. Um, so I was very excited about this one and I've already been wearing that one. Next up, this one was a more recent purchase and this caught my eye. It only caught my eye recently so I think this is quite a new one in and I just thought this was very, very adorable, very cute. I really liked it and I think I'll show you it first. <laughs> it is this very cute lilac I heart Christmas jumper. And I just love like the polka dot hearts and the sequined I heart Christmas with their handwritten font. I just think it's very cute. And although it is, some of you might who are watching this think a lot or very, very Christmassy, I feel like it's more of an understated like Christmas jumper. I think with most of them I picked up, that's what I like. I think George have just kind of like hit it on, hit the nail on the head this season because everything's just a nice kind of they've got festive things but it's not so so festive that you can't like tone it down and make it work with simpler things and more casual outfits but you can play it up again and they're really cute so I just think they've struck the balance really nicely with this one. I sized up so it's nice and baggy and um, but yeah I think it's so cute. It's almost like a Valentine's -y theme to it which I think is really adorable but yes I, I do heart Christmas. <laughs> From the not so super duper festive to this is definitely a Christmas jumper and again it's another red number <laughs> and this is this one as you can see it has this absolutely gorgeous swooping kind of piece on the top that goes around I don't know what the word is for this sash I don't know anyhow it's got this gorgeous pattern and it's covered covered in mistletoe and Rudolph's with little tiny bobbly noses <laughs> it also has a very faint sparkle running through I don't know if you can see that very well I didn't actually realize that on the website but it's not super super in your face it's very very subtle which I'm glad because I wanted this not to be like sparkly again a bit more not OTT I mean but 
So yeah, this is adorable. It's got a nice high neck, so nice to keep you tasty and warm. I prefer a high neck on me. I'm perfect. It's not like so high neck like this, which is extreme, that you couldn't put like um, a little collar on. And I just think that would be absolutely gorgeous. Uh, very cute, very traditional, and that's what I like about them. They're kind of, they're quite timeless designs because they haven't made it like too current or too much. I just think they made a lovely balance and I love it. Next up was another jumper, um, but I think this is my final jumper I got. And this one I feel like is a really nice in between. It can be very, very autumny and very, it can be played up as like a Christmassy one, um, but I just thought it would be so gorgeous in like the pre-Christmas time, like autumny season. And it's this gorgeous, and I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right, but Fez tail, Fez tail, um, pattern jumper. Again, on some of the pattern, the hearts here has a tiny little bit of red sparkle, almost like red tinsel, but it is so faint you can't see it. I didn't think it had this when I got it on the website. Also, the Christmas tree bits are like they're a little bit fluffy. Can you see that? Um, but nonetheless, and as you can see like from a distance as well, you can't tell that really, well, it bothers me, um, but it's just not, it's not too much. So I just think this is such a gorgeous, it's very cold season with like the pine trees or Christmas trees, whatever one you want to call it, um, and the snowflakes. But yeah, especially with all the green, I think it just pulls so nicely for autumn and I love that it ties in to like a, a cream jumper ultimately and that's what I like about the other one with the reindeers on I feel like cream is very in at the moment and um, so yeah that's gonna tie in nicely while still being quite festive and it's a very classic colour cream okay moving on from jumpers and um, on the cozy theme we move on to well bras I didn't really get underwear per se and um, but these first of all caught my eye and um, because my friend in the summer she has these really pretty like oh what are they called I'm trying to think bralettes and um, in the summer she had these really pretty bralettes and she'd wear them like with shirts and that and they had like um lacy they had like lacy kind of straps and they looked so beautiful and she couldn't stop raving about how comfy they were I think she got hers from Hollister well, maybe Hollister but I definitely saw really nice ones in Hollister in the summer I think or maybe that was last summer anyhow but she also got some from Primark um well I saw these and these were in the sale for like £3 each and these are these lacy non-wired bralettes so there's one in kind of like a dusky bloom and then there's one in a very very minty green and I was just like for £3 each how could you say no? They just look so comfy. They looked so comfy on the website. I didn't think being like in more of a bralette that they would have like an eyelet kind of um, eyelets at the back to hold it together. I thought it would just be one piece. Um, so I was a bit like, oh no, it might not be super comfy because that's what I was looking for. Um, but I can assure you they are. And oh my goodness, I love them. I love that they're not underwired at all. It's just so comfy on comfier days. You don't want to wear a proper bra. Uh, and these are amazing. And for £3, they're going to last me a long time and give me a lot of comfort. So I made up with that. <laughs> I also, in the bra kind of theme of things, I got myself a sports sports bra slash top and um, it's kind of like a would you say three quarter kind of like a racer top if that's the style if that's the right word and it's like a very dark chocolatey colour and in like a ripped style I went for the extra small and it's very it's nice and snug it's nicely snug and it's not too tight well it is amazing I don't have it here right now because I wore it earlier today to work out in so it's currently in the wash and I'm not doing it out um because it needs washed <laughs> but it is so comfy again that was in the sale that's something I've been looking for for ages I'm very impressed with the quality of it from George I've never had sportswear from George before really and um, so I'm really impressed with that it's very comfy and it serves its purpose it does its job if you know what I mean and um, so yes uh, top to that one it's been really really good on this subject of kind of more basic things um a kind of an in-between piece I got was this uh, long sleeve top oh let me spin that around so not exactly a really really like warm piece like a jumper however with the long sleeves and by the way how cute are these little frills Um, I think that's what swayed me on it I thought this would be amazing as like 
an underpiece and just a top on its own so because it's got a slightly high neck I thought it would look really cute under jumpers especially some of the jumpers that I've purchased recently here and um, I thought that would go really cute with them and just add an extra layer of warmth and then otherwise in all the climates when the weather's a bit nicer on its own and um, again I just love this frill detail it's gorgeous oh and I don't have a lot of just like long sleeve tops um so yeah I, I really like that one it's more of a basic but yes I thought this would be really cute paired under jumpers and especially those Christmas ones that nice frilly neck again a little bit more cottage core but because it's cream and it's ribbed and it's basic I thought it's quite similar to what a lot of people are wearing at the moment very kind of like chic but casual things very simple things and um, so very versatile piece that one um, and all about the coziness so yeah I am looking forward to that one. And it will be nice in the summer too. You see, versatility. You gotta think about these things. <laughs> From comfy and cosy basics for the daytime to comfy and cosy nightwear, I also picked up um, some nightwear from George. I haven't bought any pyjamas in a very, very long time. Now with the weather getting colder and we're all trying really hard not to use as much heat in, um, and I really, really feel the cold. And again, having hadn't treated myself to pyjamas in many, many years, definitely i have a couple of new ones but they're short sleeved and on the thinner side i didn't really have anything toasty and cozy so i allowed myself to treat myself and oh my goodness it has been cozy heaven <laughs> So first up in the cosy pyjama wear to keep me warm and stop me putting heat on the much. And I feel if your pyjamas are cosy and you're warm, but like what you're wearing, not your bed, what you're wearing, it helps you to get, well it helps me to get out of bed better in the morning. If it's your bedding, like that teddy bear bedding, that is amazing. But then you don't want to leave your bed. But if it's your pyjamas, you're like, sound, I can live here. You know, I'm all toasty <laughs> and cosy. I can just bring it with me rather than the duvet. So anyway, first up in the cozy pyjamas section is, ta-da, how cute is this? I really, 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 really wanted some kind of like animal teddy bear kind of themed like pyjamas. Very cute, um, very cozy and very, very soft. And this is actually like a giant onesie. I won't be able to show you properly here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Um, and what I like about this onesie from George is, I don't think I've ever had a onesie from George, um, it's got cuff, cuff legs, so it's not too tight and like, what's the word, not skinny jeans, it's not like skin tight the legs, they are a little bit baggy, but it's cuffed at the bottom so your feet have got like, you've got room to move, you've got ankle room because um, sometimes the onesies with feet, not only can they get very, like a bit too hot, they just don't always feel super comfortable because we're all we've all got different length legs. That didn't come out right. <laughs> we've all got different length legs. There we go. <laughs> so I really like the fit of this. I have been wearing this recently and I think I'm in two. I can assure you it is so comfy and I am so obsessed with the hood on this. I absolutely love it. Look at these ears. I mean, when is ears and fluffy things just not a good idea? <laughs> Next up, keeping with the cozy pyjama theme, these were a more recent find I found in George. Again, I think they've only just come out recently. And by the way, all of these things I've bought over like the recent kind of couple of months here and there. Um, I know it seems crazy. I did have uh, just a shopping offer, so it made everything a bit cheaper. Um, because I know it's quite a few things, but they're investment pieces. Anyhow, um, all of these things are quite recent, so they're probably all going to still be in in stock. And um, maybe not the sales stuff, but most of it was just normal. And um, so yeah, hopefully you'll still be able to find them if you like them. <laughs> but this again, I think was a more recent piece because I only saw this recently. Okay, this is a very cozy one. And this I am saving for Christmas Eve. These are gonna be my Christmas, Twixmas, New Year's pajamas. And they are a big fluffy, two face I was gonna say. A big fluffy two piece uh, Rudolph, Rudolph pajamas. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. They're in teddy bear material and it says Santa's helper. I mean, could it be any further from the truth? No. <laughs> Wait, that's the wrong. Could it be closer to the truth? No. <laughs> huh. 
<laughs> these are so incredibly soft and they're so comfy again they've got the cuff sleeve and the arm and they've got them on the feet as well so perfect for a nice universal fit in all sizes because once again we all have different lips don't we <laughs> Um, so yes, I'm very excited about those, very cosy, um, so yes, basically for this winter, autumn, winter period, I'm just going to be a walking duvet, so I say good investment. <laughs> Next up, these two pyjamas. These aren't really like autumn winter ones. These are more kind of thinner materials. But when I was looking for some cosy pyjamas for the winter, um, I stumbled across these. And I think, I think they were either in the sale or I got like my um, offer on them and it was really good. And I just couldn't say no. So first of all, let's go with these ones first. These are a very cute traditional button up um red polka dot love heart pyjamas how sweet are these with like a classic pocket too how gorgeous is that and they have tiny 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 little polka dot hearts i just think that is so cute with the white trim as well and um, oh where are the pants the pants are pretty similar but they do have a nice white trim on the bottom as well i just think they look really fancy so it's a nice like thin material but it's not it's oh i can't think of the word but it's very relaxed it's that relaxed kind of cottony um feel um, and they, they just feel comfy, lovely, and I think these are going to be great for spring and summer, and I think they will be exceptionally cute in February um, for Valentine's, Galentine's, Palentine, Palentine's, Galentine. <laughs> They'll be fab for all the love season. <laughs> I love them. I just think they're so cute. So that is those. I'm very classy as well. Like everything was such a bargain. I know I had like some shopping offers too, but everything was really decently priced. To me, when I buy things, everything's an investment piece because I keep it forever. I don't tend to just one wear, as I said, and throw away things. Um, but the quality of these pieces from George, and I've always had good experience with George before, is phenomenal and they just look so classy like i'm so impressed whoever works for george's design team in the clothing department has blown it out the park recently um, so yes now the next one is very cute um and these are a pair of satiny shorts pajamas and they're button-up shirt style as well and as you can see they have croissants on <laughs> and if you go close Lisa, you can see they have brunch club written all over them with croissants which I just think is so cute I think what better pyjamas to take on holiday than pyjamas with croissants on that say brunch club <laughs> so I just couldn't say no to them again such cute such like a lovely style it's not gimmicky they're really nicely styled they're almost a little bit Victoria's Secret those ones if I dare say I do have proper the Victoria's Secret pyjamas and I love them and um, but yeah these again really like material they're going to be so nice for the summer and on holiday and I just think like how can you not wear that on holiday and at home as well because brunch is to be enjoyed everywhere <laughs> so yeah I love these I think they're adorable on to the last few pieces now and um, and this one going along again with the theme of how classy and nice everything and um, looks from George this season and how I really feel like they've hit the design uh, nail on the head this next one is a two-piece unfortunately however well unfortunately I say for good reason I love it so much I've already worn it worn it worn it <laughs> So the skirt for this one I do have in the wash and um, so I don't have it to show you but it's a pencil mini skirt and that goes with the matching um, cropped jacket and they are both in houndstooth. This button's all the way up and um, where are we with these big black buttons? Very nice, very smart with a thick collar and the cuff sleeves on the jacket as well. And when I saw this, I saw the skirt first and I was like, oh, that's timeless. That's so beautiful. And then I saw this. Now, this is really out the park for me. This is not something I would normally wear, this style of jacket. 
but it just looked so smart and the two piece was so it's so classic black and white hound's tooth it's a very chanel and <laughs> i know that sounds mad but my mum said that when i wore it too it really is and um, it is gorgeous so i thought i'm just gonna get it on you know on a whim i'm gonna try it and see what it's like i love it this is the most gorgeous fancy smart toothpaste toothpaste why did i say toothpaste two piece um and it was just a bargain the quality is amazing the skirt's gonna pair with loads of things and even though this is a bit different for me this style of jacket i feel like it will also pair with similar like colors and tones to make more lovely chic outfits um, and again something that's so in and always in like having those smart pieces and a classic two-piece set um i'm blown away I'm absolutely blown away by it george have knocked out the park this year so if you want yourself a little chanel two-piece dupe um, i would get on georgia.com i just can't believe how beautiful they are and whoever designed and put that in the george range you're a genius next up a very exciting category although it's all exciting we move on to dresses now not a necessity however with some very good offers and the sale and one email i got from george after i bought the first couple of things that featured this next one that took my heart and i had to have a look at it and it tempted me so much and it was so pretty pretty i did end up buying it <laughs> i got a couple of dressy up treats um, so I thought these would be really nice coming into the Christmas season. There's one in particular I'm very excited to wear for my work Christmas party. Um, so yeah, Christmas parties, um, nights out, very much so. And one of them is kind of more of one for next year in the springtime. So first up is this absolutely gorgeous timeless. You probably won't be able to see it so well because it's so rich, the velvet. A velvet jumpsuit. <laughs> This is a short sleeve black velvet jumpsuit. It's got kind of a nice um, oh, lining, what would you call that, around the edges into a nice v-neck. And it's not too low. If you are small boobed or you're worried about low um, necklines, exposing things that you don't want to expose, take it from a small boobed girl. This is absolutely fine. It fits perfectly. I'm so happy with it. All the way to the floor with flared legs oh okay i'm completely gone <laughs> yeah i saw this on the email from george after i got my first couple of little purchases and it just looked so gorgeous i was like oh wow and so timeless and so classy i was like i i just have to have a look at it and was like how can i leave it so i got it and i tried it and it does fit beautifully so i'm really excited to kind of pair that up for the festive period and any like going out time and um, but for the festive period with some nice like sparkly silver heels i think that would look so cute like sandal ones um i think that would be gorgeous and then it's gonna last me forever because black velvet pant jumpsuits i mean timeless <laughs> next up this one is a little bit of a different one for me and this is something that maybe i wouldn't normally go for but again i saw this on the website on the model and it looked stunning it was a showstopper because it's so different from anything i've already got i think that is really nice because it just adds some versatility into my wardrobe rather than getting something similar to what i've already got and um, so i let myself treat myself to this sock and i think this is going to be my christmas party dress of the year it is this gorgeous blue collar bolt <laughs> ruched front um kind of waterfall skirt i can't show you that properly here but you'll be able to see how i do a little clip wearing these um this is gorgeous it's like oh let's go that way <laughs> cobalt dual blue it's got a slightly kind of textured material to it but it is a satin so it shines and shimmers um it just looks like such a statement wearing it is so beautiful it's got slight poof sleeves which i think that just looks so classy um oh yeah i am so excited to wear it i just think it's like christmasy snowflake snowflake glam <laughs> and yes this is going to be my part dress of the season it also has gorgeous and very on trend um gathered puff sleeves as well and it's a long sleeve so good for the cold weather at night out um, but yes oh, a little bit different for me but an absolute showstopper it is just gorgeous and i don't have anything like it 
and um, once again classy and fabulous George have hit it out of the park this year I'm very impressed them. Last up on the dress side of things, this is one <laughs> that I saw and I just, I thought two things, I was like oh my goodness that looks really vintage and if you know me in real life, um, if you know me in person um, or if you know me well, if you've been here before or read my blog, I am a very very big fan of vintage things um, and I just thought it would be so beautiful for the spring and the summer. So it's this long gorgeous buttoned shirt dress in a ditzy red daisy um, floral print and I think it's about like a three quarter, very comfy style. I have not really exactly the same, still quite different, but a similar kind of dress from Hollister a couple of years ago that I wore again this summer and I just love it so much. They're so easy to throw on and with this kind of like, cap, it's not cap sleeve, it's a little bit longer than a cap sleeve, but with a gather and a frill and then you can button it up all the way if you want or leave it a couple of buttons down, something a bit more cool and breezy. It just looks so 1940s to me, but it doesn't look dated. It just looks classically vintage, and I think that's gonna be so nice and so easy to throw on in the spring and in the summer. So yeah, I just thought that would be a gorgeous, simple piece for summer and spring, and um, timeless again, and it's got that touch of vintage that I love. And the bright red is just so cheerful and happy. So it's nice, I've got like one to look forward to in the in the springtime, after all the fun of Christmas too. But we're not wishing that away because I love Christmas. It's the most exciting time. I cannot wait. Okay, so there is one more piece to show you. I will be right back because I'm gonna have to grab it. Ooh. Oh my gosh, just like a caterpillar suit, gee whiz. There we go. Last, oh my gosh, that was a bit of a fight. Last but not least, again, another very much, as with all of them, but very much so this one, an investment piece. Um, something that's gonna keep me very warm and be very good for the cold season and very different to ones that I have already. This ginormous chocolate, fluffy on the inside bargain, oh my goodness. It's so long, I can't show you it all here. It's never gonna fit in the room. <laughs> this is kind of like a full length parka. I have seen a lot of people wearing these this season. Um, not that it's just gonna be for a season, obviously it's gonna be a forever one. But what I really like about this, from this year's collection in George, um, they like the others, they've made it really like, they've made it basic, they've not, added anything to it that doesn't need to be there, like um, little zips or pull strings or anything. They've just made it very basic and I feel like it can be played very chic with your outfit as well as being just absolutely toasty. It's got that like ribbed puffer jacket material and I just feel like um, a very cosy caterpillar when I wear this and it makes me so happy. <laughs> the hood is amazing. Um, so yeah, I go from my onesie to my outdoor caterpillar suit <laughs> and I'm one happy bunny. <laughs> yes, one more investment piece but I got an amazing deal on this. Um, so I, I honestly, it was very much worth the pennies um, and it's gonna last me a super long time. It's so cosy and warm. I think that's exactly what you need when the weather's really cold and you go out for a walk. Sometimes you need something a little bit more than just kind of like a trench coat um, or a, what's the word, a trench coat or a basic coat, um, like a breasted coat or two breasted coats. I can't think of all the names for coats, but something you just need, sometimes you just need something a little bit toastier. Um, and I love this. And I love the chocolate color too. It goes with a lot of things and it won't pick up, you know, if it's got a bit of dirt on it, it won't be so obvious. Um, so yeah, I am absolutely made up, made up with that. It's my outdoor onesie. <laughs> and I think, I think that is everything. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. Well, it's not a little haul, it's a rather big haul. Um, of all these gorgeous pieces from George, as I said, I've shopped in George before and I do really like their clothing. It's such a bargain, but this year, my goodness, whoever is 
director at George this season and doing all these creative designs they have knocked it out the park you've got things that are like Chanel dupes you've got really classy things you're pulling on like the cottage core kind of themes and the basic kind of chic theme that everybody's wearing and um, you can really play things up play things down they're versatile they fit well and they're comfortable and they are well made I must add as well especially that coat and um, so yeah I was just really excited to share it in case um, um, well in case any of you like me are looking for certain bits and bobs like that this season and um, get yourself to George because I keep telling everyone I'm like have you been to George have you been to George recently have you been on the George website <laughs> it's addictive <laughs> I have to restrain myself when I'm in there now I'm like no don't look again <laughs> So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit different with something uh, style-wise this time. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to being back here again more and getting into the swing of my uploads more. I'm having so much fun with it and I'm just so happy when I can film. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you really enjoyed it, you can give me a little like if you want and subscribe because there's going to be more. Um, yeah, otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.